Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is often turned with their bones. So let it be with Caesar. The noble Brutus have told you Caesar was ambitious. If it were so, it was a grievous fault, and grievously has Caesar answered it. Here under the leave of Brutus and the rest, for Brutus is an honorable man, so all they're all honorable men. I come to speak in Caesar's funeral. He was my friend, faithful and just to me. But Brutus said he was ambitious, and Brutus is an honorable man. He had brought many captives home to Rome, whose ransoms did the general coffers fill. Did this in Caesar seem ambitious? When the poor have cried, Caesar have wept. Ambition should be made of sterner stuff. Yet Brutus said he was ambitious, and Brutus is an honorable man. You all did see that on the Lupercal I thrice presented him a kingly crown, which he did thrice refuse. Was this ambition? Yet Brutus said he was ambitious, and sure, he is an honorable man. I speak not to disprove what Brutus spoke, but I am here to speak what I do know. You all did love him once, and not without cause. What cause will hold you then to mourn for him? O oh, judgment art fled to British priest, and men have lost their reasons. Bear with me. My heart is in the coffin there with Caesar, and I must pause until it come back to me. I, Edward, will use women honorably. Would he wasted marrow, bones, and all? That from his loins no hopeful branch may spring. To cross me from the golden time I look for, and yet between my soul desire in me. The lustful Edward's title buried is Clarence Henry and his young son Edward, all unlooked for issue of their bodies. To take their rooms, I can place myself a cold premeditation for my purpose. Why then I do but dream on sovereignty, like one stands upon a promontory and spies a far off shore where he would tread, wishing his foot were equal to his eye, and tries the sea that sunder him from thence, saying he laid it dry and have his way, so I do wish the crown being so far off, and so I try the means that keeps me from it. And I say I cut the causes off, flattering me with impossibilities. My eyes too quick, my heart overwings too much, unless my hand and strength could equal them. Well, say there is no kingdom then for Richard. What other pleasures can the world afford? I make my heaven in a lady's lap, and deck my body in gay ornaments, in which strip ladies with my words and looks. O oh, miserable thought, and more unlikely than to accomplish twenty golden crowns. Why, love forswore me in my mother's womb, and for I should not deal with her soft laws. She did corrupt frail nature with some bribe, to shrink my arm up like some withered shrub, to make an envious mountain on my back, where sits deformity to mock my body, to shape my legs of an unequal size, disapportionate me in every part, like to a chaos or an unwhipped bell whelp that carries no impression like the dam. Am I then a man to be beloved? O oh, monstrous fall to harbor such a thought, then since this over affords me no joy to me, but command to check to overbear such as are a better person than myself. I make my heaven to dream upon the crown, while I live to count this world but hell. Unless until my misshaped trunk that bears this head be a round and pall with a glorious crown, yet I know not how to get the crown, for many lies stands between me and home, and like one lost in a thorny wood that's rent the thorns and is rent with the thorns, seeking a way and straying from the way, not knowing how to find the open air, but toiling desperately to find it out. To torment myself to catch the English crown, and from that torment I will free myself, or hew my way out with a bloody axe. Why, I can smile, and murder while I smile, and cry content to which grieves my heart, and wet my cheek 
with artificial tears and frame my face to all occasions. I'll drown more sailors than the mermaid shall, slay more geyser than the basculus. I'll play the orator as well as the nester, the seas more slyly than Ulysses could, and like Sinon, take another Troy. I can add colors to the chameleon and set the murderous Machiavelli to school. I can do this and cannot get a crown. Tut, were it further off, I pluck it down.